hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is sylvia i know it's been a long time since the last time i uploaded a new video and this time around before summer ends i wanted to create something for summer so this is a very very glowy skin for summer and you're gonna see throughout the video that i didn't use a, like so much foundation but i wanted to i uh, wanted to create a bronzy skin uh so you can rock in summer summer is not over yet so we still have some day we can go to the room even though it's always summer in malaysia <laughs> because it's always sunny so i wanted to create this look for you guys and i'm going to be talking throughout the video and i'm going to also be using some new products that i bought recently and i don't want to do a haul i'm going to include those product into this video and talk to you guys about them i hope you stick around and watch your whole video so yeah let's get started with the video as always we want to start by protecting our skin i'm using my nivea makeup starter and it's a moisturizer also it has an spf of 33 it is summer it is hot out there so you want to protect your skin so i'm going to put it all over my face for the past few weeks i've been uh kind of like busy that's why you didn't see any new video on my channel and also i had a breakout on my skin and i'm going to insert a clip somewhere here so you can see what happened to my skin i got a reaction from i don't know what i'm going to correct some of the imperfections on my skin using my la pro concealer the shade is the orange shade i, I got some like pimples on my face so i just i didn't want to record a video i just didn't want to put makeup on my face with those uh pimples on my face i know you guys know that i had an established schedule but i couldn't keep it up because of that and also i went to india i was there for one week if you follow me on um snapchat or instagram you know that and i have my instagram uh, hair page all set up and the hair that i'm selling is there if you want to check that out i'm going to leave the name uh, right here on the screen yeah on the screen somewhere here so you can see <clears throat> so yeah that's what i've been doing <laughs> i'm going to do a spot application of my foundation and this is the makeup forever ultra hd and the shade is 173 so i'm just going to take a palm on that hey i took two and this is two pumps of the makeup forever ultra hd i apply it mostly here as you can see but the rest of the face is pretty much my skin uh what i did is i spot the places where i need uh foundation and those are the places that i apply a little bit of foundation now i'm going to use my nash radiant creamy concealer the shade is amanda You guys if you see my eyes are a little bit like swollen it's because i had a nightmare today i dreamed that my mom was dead and in my dreams i was crying so hard that i woke up with tears in my eyes and my eyes were swollen so it wasn't a good morning last night i planned that i wanted to record a video so that's why i'm doing it but i didn't wake up that excited because i woke up crying so if you see my eyes are a little bit swollen is because of that so i'm going to use this a brush to blend in my concealer and i have a quick question for you guys i'm thinking of doing a story time that is an experience and a horrible experience that, that i had when i was a kid my encounter with with a gorilla in the jungle that almost killed my my little my baby uncle if you want to hear that story let me know let me know in the comment section i'll make the video for you guys i blame myself for what happened that day i want to start talking about it maybe it will change it's because i just keep blaming myself for what happened that day and i can't stop blaming myself i'm gonna use the real technique setting brush to lightly set my concealer I'm not gonna bake because it's summer you're gonna be sweating anyway I'm going to contour my face. I want to use this shade right here. 
I know it looks harsh right now. Don't worry, we'll blend it up. See how that goes in. Click. Have I told you that this real technique setting brush is a multi-functional brush? So now I'm going to use it to contour my face. And from this palette, I'm going to grab this color right here. I'm just contouring my face with this one and I'm going to contour my nose with this one, okay? Something that I want to tell you about this um, this palette is that I know when I bought it, I initially bought it for setting my concealer. I don't know, it just doesn't work for me as to set my concealer. I use it mainly to contour it works wonders for contour okay and i keep use, using my banana which is a mess but you know i don't want to be creasing this enhances my fine lines but it works wonders for contouring and also setting your foundation it works very well in this palette i'm going to use this color to set my my foundation i'm going to use the real technique the powder brush by real technique and i'm just going to dust that onto my face i recently went to um benefit i just decided to buy this one if you live in malaysia this is 110 ringgit so i decided to buy this one and i've used it as you can see on one side it's all used i loved this brow product it's just basically a gel and it's waterproof which is awesome <laughs> you take house swimming for the first day you think her eyebrows will go away you gotta think about that again this is kabao kabao brows the color is number four so this is the one that I'm going to use. Basically what happened is that you open it, you pop out the brush, and you create a longer brush with the tab. If you haven't seen my eyebrow video, all you gotta do is go to the description bar. All the links will be there. Now if you want me to do an update a version of that video, I'll be happy to do that. But for right now, let me fill in these eyebrows quickly. Remember that I apply my contour product without uh, blending it so much because I wanted to apply a bronzer to blend that out okay so I'm going to use the cover girl queen collection this shade is ebony bronze and so far and I'm using it with a real technique uh, powder brush the one that I use for setting my foundation and so far in my channel I've been created two versions of the same video like for example if I, I were to do uh, like a makeup tutorial I will create the English version and the Spanish version and so recently I decided that I'm not going to do that anymore if you guys think that I should keep doing the same thing let me know in the comment section but I decided to just choose either an English video or a Spanish video if you are an English viewer and you watch a video in Spanish and you like it, the content and you want that ver that video in an English version you will let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to do that for you but for the time being I've just decided to just choose either language and create one video it's going to be one video per week and it used to be two videos because it was two versions of the same video so it would be two videos per week but this time around it's going to be either english or spanish you see how it's blended now These are the face and body illuminators from, from Inkwad. They look like this. I bought the 66 for highlight. It looks like it's like a champagne color. And I also bought 67. I bought the 67 for bronzing my skin and my face, okay? And right now I'm going to use the bronzer, which is the 67. To bronze some areas on my face it looks like this 
I'm gonna give you a close up so you can see how it looks like. Oh, oops, I should have shake it. You need to shake it first. So I'm gonna shake it, shake, and then take a palm of that. If, if you know the cover fix, uh, enhancing drops, I don't have those and I would like to try one of those, but I think that this is kind of like similar to that. I'm going to apply it here where I applied the powder bronzer. Now I'm going to use the 66. It's the one that I consider that it's a highlight for me. It's a shine painting color and I'm going to give you a close up so you can see it's a shine painting color. Okay, I'm going to use it as a highlight and I'm going to take a pump of that it's, and it seems like this one is way thicker than the previous one and I'm going to just apply this one in the areas that I would highlight mm, the top of my cheekbones and the thing is I'm not just going to leave it on the top of my cheekbone but I'm also going to take it right uh, close to my under eye like right here i'm going to take it very close to my under eye because sometimes my under eye tend to look very dry because that area for me is very dry a quick question you guys did you notice any difference in the sound of this video because i just bought a lavalier microphone i'm trying it out for the first time today in this video if you notice any difference in the sound of this video please let me know any difference in the sense that is it better uh, compared to the previous videos let me know because i just hope it is making some difference on the sound of my videos i bought this in glove because i had a macro long wear that is already like super dry so i wanted to uh, try another makeup base and i and i bought the in glot makeup eye makeup base and it's the shade 01 and it looks like this and that is the one that i'm going to use today before i apply anything on my eyelid i almost forgot it looks like a concealer when you touch it it's kind of like creamy but it dries to a perfect matte for your makeup application i love it I'm gonna use Grandstand by Makeup Geek and using this brush, no name, yeah, it's an Eliento brush. I'm going to apply it all over my lid. This is going to be simple eye look with a lot of glow. I remove the eyeshadow and what I'm doing is just blending the edges without any more product on my brush, okay? I wanna do that with the other eye. Take Grandstand. Apply it on my eyelid. So as I did before, I remove all the eyeshadow and then I'm going to blend the edges. I'm pretty much creating this eye look with just one eyeshadow. So at the moment, I'm going to use uh, this eyeshadow here, this brown eyeshadow, just to give my um, crease some depth, some definition. I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of that eyeshadow I don't know the name but trust me everything will be in the description bar below I just want to bronze my skin for summer on my skin my eye my ever fine girl <laughs> not going to apply any dark uh, shade on my lower lash line I'm just going to use this brown color this one right here and right now my camera is about to die <laughs> so we are just going to move fast I have put on some eyelashes as you can see there are some cheap <laughs> Chinese lashes that I bought I'm going to do a separate video on how I put on my lashes so now I'm going to apply some mascara on my top lashes because I have already applied mascara on my lower lash line so now I'm going to move on to my lips I bought this the Tartus lip paint and the shade is Drave now I'm going to use Revit today 
on my outer lips and then in the center I'm going to use this is a wet and wild um, lipstick and this shade is uh, think pink I'm going to apply it on the center of my lips And this is the finished look you guys i just hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did because it was so much fun don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye guys